This ceremony had all the pomp and circumstance of a regular swearing in. It was just missing one thing that meant it didn't actually count. The three newly elected members of the Parti Québécois didn't pledge allegiance to the king, instead pledging allegiance to the people of Quebec. Envers le peuple du Québec. Envers le peuple du Québec. Envers le peuple du Québec. They were not alone in trying that end around to avoid pledging allegiance to the new monarch. Quebec Solidaire elected 11 members in last month's election and tried the same. Envers le peuple du Québec. Well, the Speaker of the National Assembly ruled Tuesday that the rules don't allow those members to sit. The oath to the king, he said, is not optional. Quebec Solidaire now says it will privately and reluctantly take the oath, despite calling it archaic and humiliating. We won't have any pleasure, we won't have any pleasure at all swearing that oath of allegiance, but we need to take our responsibility. Now, there may be someone new on the throne, but this isn't a new debate. Members of René Lévesque's government back in the 80s added qualifiers when they took the oath. Things like, may God help me. Ma seule allégeance. More recently, Bloc Québécois leader Yves Blanchet took the oath to sit in the House of Commons, but says it was insincere. An oath which is pronounced against the free will of the person who has to say the words is... Worthless. Stephen Bonner. Well, sovereignist Canadian politicians aren't the only ones who've held their noses during the oath. This Scottish politician two years ago crossed his fingers while swearing allegiance to the Queen. And in Australia earlier this year, an Indigenous senator took an oath and called the Queen a colonizer. To the colonizing Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Senator Thorpe. She was asked to take it again. I'm going to wait for quiet. Merci du fond du cœur. Now, when the new Quebec Solidaire MNAs retake their oath, they have a first order of business, tabling a bill to drop swearing allegiance to the king. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.